this is the interesting part of the race. The track is now dried out, but it's still a little bit damp. I want to go around, and we might try to do one more lap after this. So let's completely rip into the car, and uh, well, we don't want to rip into it. We're still on the attack mode. Funnily enough, the temperatures are now rising because the track is starting to dry out. And obviously, when you've got rubber on the track in drier conditions, that's when they really start to heat. While it was raining, even though we were completely pushing with the driving style, it didn't actually raise the tires to the optimum range. Here you go. Grosjean's going to come into the pits. I feel like we could do at least one more lap for Schumacher. Let's put Rossi on a bit of a different strategy here. Is everyone coming in? It looks like everyone around us is going to come in. So we might do the same with Rossi just to see if, uh, just to get him off from double stacking, but also to, you know, get out of the, keep with the status quo. Because if, if it's a bad move for Schumacher, it's going to work for Rossi. What we're going to do is we're going to go six laps, 12 laps. We might go in for a 12 for the super softs. Although if we go for the ultra softs, you'll get a bonus. For now, let's just stick with the super softs. The weather looks like it's going to dry out for at least till lap 18. So if we can go to the super softs and keep those tires in good condition, that should be fine for us to do another pit stop then. So how many laps is that going to be? That will be about that, exactly 12 on the dot, or we want to go to 13. We just want to go there, let's just keep it there. Let's keep it as a balanced stop. Schumacher, let's get him to go into high mode. I want him to do a good in-lap, that way he's not going to be held up too much. If, in fact, his tyres are going to be squirming around, where is Rossi going to come out in regards to... Well, he's not going to come out in front of anyone at all because we've actually missed the pit lane because that order was given too late. But that's, that's not a bad thing. We will wait and see what the result is. It looks like Schumacher's pace has actually increased. He's done 0.38 faster this lap than he did last lap. So figure that one out. But he needs to come in for, for new tires now anyway. We're going to go on the super soft tires. We're going to go up to lap... What was it? Let's go to 13 laps just to be safe. So 12.2. Yep. Pit strategy... Let's do a fast pitch strategy because I want to make sure that we don't double stack and I think that's going to be worth 13 seconds. The gap is 17 seconds, so that should be fine. As for Rossi's pit, let's go in here. Let's change it for him. Super soft tires. Let's do 12 point. That's going to put him up to 13. Fast stop as well. Power condition. Everything looks fine. Now, are we going to lose out dramatically to Grosjean and the rest of the crew? Well, Grosjean was already ahead of Rossi, so it really depends upon where everyone else is going to be in relation to us. I think we've lost out by doing that. Time will only tell. Here we go. Mick Schumacher does a good stop. He's just going to come out ahead of Grosjean. By just ahead, I mean by three seconds. So he's lost a little bit of ground, but the reality is we now have tires that can go the whole way, whereas everyone else will be struggling to get to that lap 17 mark when the... Uh, when the when the when the uh, weather changes drastically on us. So while we're in sixth position, it's not a bad spot to be in. Kevin Gutierrez have actually um, did a bit of a done a bit of a a gamble here by going out in the harder on the softer compounds on the ultra softs. I think that's going to screw them up in the end because they need to get to that lap 17, 18 mark, which is what we're going to be able to do. So so far our strategy seems to be working. Mick Schumacher in the lead. That gap seems to be closing down, but Grosjean's pushing. Grosjean is pushing on tires that have much less rubber. If he gets bias, not that big of an issue, but what I might do is I might just get Schumacher up to push mode. I might get Rossi up to push mode just for a little bit. Just for a little bit while we settle these uh, positions out. But I'm not too worried about Gutierrez or Kvyat because I think they're going to have to pit very shortly. It's lap 14. We're now going through the order where we're starting to lap people. Mick Schumacher is going to pass for the start of lap 15. Let's have a look at those lap times. Who's fastest? Who isn't? Michael Schumacher does a 118. Mick Schumacher does a 118. Grosjean does a 116. That's because uh, Grosjean might have been pushing a little bit there. Wurloin still on the 121s. I think these back markers are really starting to get in the way of certain cars. And when you do pass them, although they, they get out of the way, it's the fact that they drop in on the racing line sometimes. So it's slowing down some of these cars quite considerably. The other thing to consider is that Rossi is trying to chase down. Oh, he's also trying to keep ahead of Marcelo, who's actually going to go on the pits this next lap. He's chasing down Gutierrez and Kvyat, 
who have to pit this next lap because their tyres are about to be gone and we're going to have to go to full wets by the looks of it in a couple of just handful of laps to be honest we might just go to intermediates for that part of the race because it looks like it goes up and down like a bit of a t-saw but is uh rossi going to be um able to overtake these guys because they've gone on those softer compounds so as you can see that risk well pitting takes about 30 to 40 seconds every time you stop for tires the benefit that you get by going out in those tyres and doing some much faster times isn't that great, to be honest. And that's why I've been able to leapfrog. As for Rossi, let's get him to start pushing. Let's get him to go into attack mode. Same with Mickey Schumacher. They have excess fuel to get all the way into the green zone where it is going to start to rain. So we don't have to worry about pitting just yet. But our pitch strategy seems to be working unless the weather takes a bit of a turn for the worst for us and it actually stays out to be dry. But we're pretty comfortable right now. It'll be interesting to see if we could get Rossi into a podium position into the top three somehow. Wurloin's just a little bit ahead. We might just get Rossi to start pushing. As for Schumacher, where is he in the track in relation to everyone else? He's that far ahead of Grosjean at the moment. Grosjean also has a technical issue. That seems to be the uh, common occurrence of this uh, series. That Grosjean has some technical issue and has to pit right at the end of the race. Wurloin is just a little bit ahead of... Uh, Rossi actually the gap is much bigger the gap to Rossi is 15.8 seconds so something dramatically would have to happen for Rossi to be able to leap frog in to the top three but where is everyone else in relation to us Kvyat is seven seconds behind us with all cars having to pit so I'm really happy with that thus far let's get Schumacher if he goes faster in the first split, I'll get him to set another fast lap. That's not going to be the case. So let's just get him to go back into medium mode. There's no need to keep pushing for him. He seems to have this race wrapped up unless something seriously wrong happens. Something seriously goes wrong, I should say. But I'm pretty comfortable at the moment, and it should start raining in this next lap. But we don't want to come in. We want to hold it out for a little bit and then come in once it's damp enough. It looks like it's going to get damp really, really fast. The other thing is, I only want to go to intermediate, so it'll be interesting to see who goes to wets, because it is going to be that wet for a couple of uh, laps. So let's just try to get this weather correct. And as for Schumacher, if we pit him, he's got low fuel anyway. So if we go down to low fuel, he should be able to get around for one more lap, I believe, or he might just fall short. But at least we're not going to screw up his lap times. Is anyone else going to start to call in? Yep. Grosjean comes in, so Grosjean's now a threat. I think we're going to have to come in for Rossi now. We're just going to wait and see what tyres Grosjean comes out on. If he does come out on any tyres at all. A little bit of time. What's the stop? Is he going to come out? No, full wets for Paolo, really. I don't think it's going to be that wet for that long. We're going to risk it for the biscuit. I'm actually going to send out Rossi on a new set of intermediate tyres. I think... We're going to sacrifice the first couple handful of laps, but I think it's going to come back and pay dividends for us. As for fixing anything, I think we're good enough to not fix the gearbox at 29%. That's not that big of a worry. We should be able to go the rest of the race. How many laps is that? 10.7. Yeah, that should be perfect. It's going to round up to 11. It always rounds up. That's a bit of an FYI tip. Here we go, Rossi coming in the pits. No, nope, he's actually going to miss the pits. Screw everyone, because we didn't call it early enough. I think you should be able to call it up to that line. It's pretty crazy that you can't, but that's going to stuff Rossi out. Where is Mick? Mick's already going much slower, so we need to we needed to pit them that badly. Rossi's going to be screwed up, I think. Uh, is anyone else going to keep going around and doing another lap? I don't think so. I think that might have screwed up Rossi. Oh, Mick Schumacher. Ooh, ooh, no, this might be bad. This might be really bad. We might have missed him coming in the pits altogether. That's going to be really big. That's going to cause a really big issue. 11 laps, 11 laps exactly. The fact that he'll have to do a lap on a slow gallop of fuel will make... No! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You cannot make a last-minute call like that. Even though you've got room for him to duck in, that's really going to ruin his race that's going to screw him up completely what are we going to do for rossi intermediate tires i think that's the call everyone else has gone to full wets what does full wets do they get up there and then they start to really polish off you know what 
Let's go to full wets as well. We may as well. I think we will have to do another stop in between. 9.8 pitch strategy fast. There we go. Mick Schumacher's race might be over. The fact that he's going to do a, a very, very slow lap here. Yeah, he's, he's going to be done. Everyone is going to be overlapping, unlapping. That is completely insane to the membrane. Rossi's come out in second position. What the hell just happened? So you're telling me Rossi came out in second position because he stayed out in six for an extra lap. It looks like the guys who are on suit on those wetter compounds, it did not pay off. And it looks like he's immediately come under contact from, um, come under attack from Grosjean and lost the position anyway. Grosjean seems to be on the attack regardless. That's a bit of a shame. As for Mick, what we want to do is we actually want to pit for intermediates. Let's risk it. He's he's going to be in a really bad position anyway. We could just do a quick stop for wets, then a quick stop for intermediates, but I don't think it's going to work that way. Come in, park condition, nine laps. Oh, that's, that, is, that is absolutely insane. I know what you guys at home watching this, you're going to be absolutely throwing anything and everything at the computer screen right now. You're going to be screaming at me that that's a huge screw-up. And yes, it is. It is indeed a big screw-up. But our man Rossi in second position. So he's been able to benefit from this. We still might be, get, be able to get one car onto the podium if everything stays as it is. Grosjean's been able to fix any issues he's had. Mick Schumacher is going to come out. He's almost going to, kind of, going to come out a lap down, but he doesn't. But he's going to be pushing on those intermediate tires. Will he get lapped is one thing. Can he get back into the top six is also... A question um, that I'd love to see answered. The blue flags are going to screw him up because every time he gets passed by someone, he has to slow down uh, extraordinarily. Look at that. He's going to have to slow down through all those cars passing him. That's really going to stuff up, stuff him up. But Rossi seems to be able to do a good job. He seems to... His adaptability um, trait from, from knowledge is actually really low. So he's actually going to struggle in the wet more than the guys around him. As you can see, Grosjean's been able to push away comfortably from him. But uh, Mickey Schumacher has also dropped into 9th, into 10th position. Because he's on those inters. It's going to suck for like one or two laps. Maybe we should have pulled him in on the full wet tires. And then potentially looked at bringing him out on intermediates. Would that have been the benefit? I think we might do that ourselves. I think we might do that for Rossi. Let's risk it for the biscuit. Rossi's worst position at the moment is probably going to be fourth. And I reckon if we get him to go around one more time, we might pit for intermediate tires. I think we'll get that much of a benefit by doing it. Mick Schumacher just keeps dropping and dropping in the meantime. But he should be able to come back. He, he, Rossi's feeling a bit of a clunky gearbox while that's all happening. But I think, look how fast that's drying up. That is absolutely insane. So Schumacher's going to be able to carry on with those tires. I think we want to pit. I think we want to pit. We don't want to pit for a new gearbox. We just want to pit. Everyone's going to pit. Look at that. Everyone is actually going to pit. So we're going to pit. Intermediates, fresh set. If I fix that up, he drops back to fourth. So he's completely going to be out of it. Let's just fix it. Let's play it safe. It's unfortunate. It is going to screw him up. But that's the way it bumbles sometimes. In comes Rossi. It's going to be a full stop. Mick Schumacher should be able to finish on those tires. He should be able to go much faster than everyone else. In just a second, he should be able to pull away and completely streamline it. But that's been a screw up on my side for Schumacher. I'm not too worried. We are going to be able to come back in this championship. Rossi comes out into what position? In third position. Even Mick Schumacher is saying, I've got a bit of a gearbox problem, but that's all right. Who else is out on wets? There's not a lot of cars out on wets. Where is sixth position in relation to Schumacher? His Schumacher is about to be lapped by sixth position, so that's completely out of the uh, out of contention for us. But all of our focus is on Rossi anyway. Sitting on a podium spot, a little bit ahead of Kvyat, who's struggling with a mechanical issue. Werloin further up the road from everyone else. And... Um, might be able to snatch the podium still. Unfortunately, the chairman's not going to be happy with this result, but that's the way uh, it's going to work for us. It's unfortunate. There's going to be three laps to go. Daniel Kvyat has a mechanical issue. It's blown up. He's now dropped back. Can Schumacher actually punch back into the top six, given all the issues that's going to be happening around him? He's got his own issue as well. 
Let's just get him to keep going around. See if he can circulate and get a position or two. It might happen. It just might be possible here. He goes into 10th position. Kvyat. Ockens all the way there. Unless he has a, another blow up. That's fine. So. Two more laps to go. For both of our drivers. We are technically unlapped at this stage. Or we are lapped by at least one lap. Or unlapped. I think we're just lapped by one lap at this stage. But Ocken seems to have gone up. No one else seems to have any technical issues. Oh no. I might have misjudged Rossi. Where is Gutierrez? Gutierrez is actually catching us. Don't tell us we're going to run out and fuel for this other car as well. I don't think we should. Rossi's going to finish in third position. Mick Schumacher gets a, a disappointing 10th. But that's all right. It's a bit of a screw up in strategy. One thing to note is that if it's going to rain for two to three, four laps and heavy, it's better to do three to two, four laps on the compounds that are set for that weather condition and then switch. It's no point going and uh, pushing it through and forcing it through a tough environmental condition just to make sure that you're, um, that you're going to be working in the window so it's everyone's done it and i gotta admit that's the better strategy because you lose about 10 11 to 15 seconds a lap when you aren't on the right compound and um that two laps equals a pit stop so by doing that it puts you on the, on the right strategy not only that but it also ensures that if you come in and you have any park conditions you can fix something in the, one of those intermediate stops or decide that you don't want to make a stop then because you can push it out to the next stop that you're going to do in about five laps time which was the case here so not a great result wise schumacher gets the fastest lap though which is good news i think it might be enough to get us into uh second overall for that race two points six points for mana daniel kiviet comes seventh so what does that mean for our team? Does anyone get caught cheating? That's another thing to keep an eye out for. That seems to be a common occurrence in this championship. Here is the tip of the day. If you uh, attempt to buy something that will make you bankrupt, the chairman will prevent it from being bought. We knew that already. Chairman's happiness is going to go down by the looks of it. 23%. That's not great. Team markability does not move. It never moves. The happiness only goes down by 2%. Schumacher goes up quite dramatically in all, most of his traits. The morale goes down. The relationship stays the same, but Rossi goes up. So, a bit of a disappointing result. We hit our target to get our bonus, which is 2.3 mil, which is good because all we want to do is keep improving our infrastructure. Guys, it's officially been round four. We are still technically leading the championship. I might just check that just to make sure. We are coming second and fourth in the championship, which puts us in first convincingly compared to mana i'm not too worried about it what do you guys think let me know down below that was a bit of a silly strategy there and a misprint on the um on on pitting do you think that i should have been able to sneak into the pits there given the amount of room schumacher had or should there be like a, a zone where you know that you have to pit by the time that you get around the last corner in order to come in what do you guys think let me know and uh, i'd love to hear your opinions be sure to like this video i'm loving the support i'm getting next video i'll be sure to talk about more about the infrastructure i just want to do a quick race video just to give you guys a uh, bit of a zoom and gloom, uh, a zoom zoom as for Mazda, because I'm pretty sure we're going to be going to F1 next season. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll check you guys out shortly. Shh.